Watch 2 News First at 4. We're working for you weekdays beginning at 4. WLWD TV 2 in Dayton. This is the 11 o'clock edition of the TV2 News Hour with Art Brown, Sports with the Dean, Omar Williams, and Bob Breck has the weather. Good evening. Dayton is still stunned by the death of Dr. Charles Glad. This is TV2 News Tonight at 6. Good evening. I'm Donna Jordan. And I'm Jack Hicks. WDTN Dayton Springfield. From the Miami Valley's number one early news, Jack Hicks, Donna Jordan, Chief Meteorologist Carl Nichols, and Sports Director Omar Williams. This is 2 News at 5.30. WDTN Dayton Springfield. From the Miami Valley's fastest growing television news, Jack Hicks, Donna Jordan, Dave Calabro with sports, and Chief Meteorologist Carl Nichols. This is Do News Tonight. Good evening. We want to let parents know right away about the guns and roses. WDTN Channel 2. The Miami Valley turns for news and information. Marsha Bonhart, meteorologist Brian Davis, and sports director Omar Williams. This is 2 News at 2. Good afternoon, I'm Marsha. Is the 2 News Morning Report. Good morning, everyone. I'm Marcella Raymond. 825 right now. It is Monday, February the 7th. Before we get to traffic and weather, let's see what's making news today. Lower into the 30s with a north to northeast wind, but then late tonight, chance for some snow or sleet developing with overnight lows into the upper teens. Temperatures rising a little bit by dawn, though, and then tomorrow, look for a chance of some sleet, freezing rain in the morning, changing to rain as we head toward the afternoon, mid 30s to high, and it looks like we'll be up in the 40s by the time oh, we get to Wednesday. Good, 30s and 40s. But some rain, it won't be sunny like it was yeah, yesterday. It's always a downer side. See you later. Turn to WDTM Channel 2, news that hits home, with Jack Hicks, Donna Jordan, Chief Meteorologist Carl Nichols, and sports with Mark Viviano. This is 2 News Tonight. A Dayton shop owner arrested. The FBI has linked him with a notorious terrorist group. Good evening. Who would have ever thought that... Right now, 2 News brings you total news coverage. Live. With Mark Allen, Molly Hughes, and Total Weather with Carl Nichols, you're watching 2 News at 5. Hey, welcome back. You know, Total News coverage, live with Carl Day, Marsha Bonhart, Total Weather with Carl Nichols, and 2 Sports with Mitch Roberts. You're watching 2 News at 5.30. And thanks for staying with us. Our top story tonight... Right now, 2 News brings you total news coverage. This is 2 News at 6. New information tonight. Some Miami Valley residents might find their mailboxes empty today. We'll tell you what happened. An update tonight. Getting your car through the e-check process just got a bit easier. And our top story tonight, the heat and humidity are here again today. Are we doing enough to send away the smog? Good evening and thanks for staying with us. I'm Molly Hughes. And I'm Carl Day. Mark is off tonight. The Miami Valley Ozone Action Day notice has just been extended. Right now, 2 News brings you total news coverage. This is 2 News at 11. Continuing coverage. A jury recommends the death penalty for David Lee Myers. An update as University of Dayton students hold a memorial mass for one of their own. And our top story, state troopers are resuming breath testing of drunken driving suspects. And good evening. We thank you for joining us. I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Marcella Raymond. The State Highway Patrol is once again using breathalyzers to test drunk driving suspects. Now just ahead on 2 News, one Miami Valley community meets to discuss racial problems and a young child is rescued from horrible conditions. 2 News Saturday starts now.
WDTN Dayton Springfield. Right now, 2 News brings you total news coverage. This is 2 News. New information. A young girl is rescued from a crack house. You won't believe the conditions police say the child has endured. Continuing coverage. Taxpayers have complained about the tax man for years. Now the IRS admits some taxpayers' rights have been violated. But first, our top story. Members of a Miami Valley community say there are racial problems with the police in their town. Good evening, everyone. I'm Sarah Underwood. Dave Bowman has the night off. We'll have that top story in just a moment. But first, national statistics show the unemployment... WDTN, Dayton Springfield. Live at noon. This is 2 News, your weather authority. George W. Bush is all set to campaign at... WDTN, 2 News starts right now. Right now on 2 News at 11, dive teams find the body of a missing Butler County man in a backyard pond. And good evening, Miami Valley. That drowning happened behind a home about one mile southwest of Oxford. Witnesses say the victim was swimming. First, fair, accurate. Live from WDTM, this is 2 News First at 5. Hello, Miami Valley. A frightening outcome. From WDTM, Dayton's NBC, this is 2 News First at Sunrise. A man is dead after local sheriff's deputies open fire. We will have details on that story coming up in just a few minutes. Are they coming to us? I don't know. Oh, hi. I'm hey. your cousin. We are. <laughs> Karen, Danny. Oh, hey, watch out. I've got a tailwind going. Is. Be careful of that head. Hey, we're out in the parking lot of WTN. Let me try that again. WTN has a, I got a tailwind going. Watch out. And we're celebrating the big switch to NBC. Look at the folks that showed up already. Hi, guys. Hey. 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 They're not only here to say hi, they're picking up free stuff today. We, it's party all morning long. Bookers be live at sunrise with Ronald McDonald with a chicken head. It's coming up. <laughs> Man, oh, that is poop. that is one thing he does not need today is a tailwind with that outfit yeah. on. From WDTM, Dayton's NBC, this is 2 News First at 5. Drug agents sweep across the Miami Valley, busting drug houses and making several arrests. And good afternoon. I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Colleen Sullivan. Undercover agents crack down on meth. Police raided homes in Dayton, Fairborn, Huber Heights, Granis, and Ada. From WDTM, Dayton's NBC, this is 2 News at 5 with breaking news. And there was a fight here, fight there, fight here. There was fights everywhere. Right now, it's the baseball brawl making national headlines. Tempers flare and fists fly at the Dragons game. Police say a pitcher's rage turns a baseball into a weapon. And right now at 5, as the Dragons get ready to retake the field, the opposing team's pitcher sits in jail. Good evening. I'm Mark Allen. And I'm Michelle Kingsfield. He's accused of assault after throwing a baseball into the stands at Fifth Third Field and hitting a fan. Mike Shell live at the ballpark to begin tonight's triple team coverage of the base brawl. From WDTN, the station that's on your side, this is 2 News Sunrise. WDTM, the station that's on your side. This is 2 News at 6. From WDTM, the station that's on your side. This is 2 News at 10 on Dayton CW. The Springboro School District is in a fight to stay afloat. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Tonight, a surprise move by one board member has put the brakes on getting that levy on the November ballot. Holly Samuels live with why he waited to voice his concern until tonight. Holly? Right now, the school... From WDTM, the station that's on your side, this is 2 News at 11. WDTN, the station that's on your side. This is 2 News with breaking news. From WDTN, the station that's on your side. This is 2 News at 10 on Dayton CW. 
The Springboro School District is in a fight to stay afloat. Good evening, I'm Mark Allen. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Tonight, a surprise move by one board member has put the brakes on getting that levy on the November ballot. Holly now at 7, three victims show up at local hospitals after an overnight shooting. We're sorting through the details of this case. And two more people arrested accused of those deadly terror attacks in Brussels. What we've learned about their roles, new at 7. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News Today. We also have some breaking news we're going to get to about a house fire in Franklin. It's been a busy morning. I'm Brooke Moore. And I'm John Seibel. It's also good morning weather-wise, <laughs> although a little bit cold. We're going to see something we haven't seen in quite a while. Meteorologist Jamie Jarosik has more on that foreign substance in your forecast first. Good morning, Jamie. Now at 6, a wind chill advisory is on the way tonight. We have live team coverage as the wind chill values prepare to dip below zero. Plus, protecting yourself this holiday season, we're asking about an increase in break-ins and what you can do to avoid becoming a victim. And a big day for a group of veterans in Montgomery County. Their graduation ceremony is what's working in Dayton tonight. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News at 6. First at 6, bitterly cold air is about to arrive here in the Miami Valley. We'll be under a wind chill advisory tonight, making already low temperatures feel even colder. Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis has a first look at our Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, well, thanks, Mark, Katie. And right now you're checking out Live Doppler 2 HD. It is completely dry across the Dayton area of the Miami Valley. Uh, taking a look, though, at the wind chill advisory that's in. From WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 2 News at 10 on Dayton CW. And first here tonight at 10, three suspects are now in custody after a high-speed police chase through the streets of Dayton this afternoon. Tyler Yutska live with a new information at 10. Police are happy to announce that there were no injuries. Two news at 11 starts now. First at 11, nonstop rain hitting the Miami Valley, not stopping Metro Parks from holding their grand opening of the River Run. But conditions on the Great Miami River, not so great today. Two News reporter Ethan Fitzgerald live at Riverscape Metro Park. It's new at 11. Brooke, I was out here yesterday as they were setting up for the event today. Oscar goes to American Factory. Now at six, dreams come true for two Dayton area filmmakers. How the pair are celebrating their big win at the Academy Awards. And the number of flu cases skyrocket through the state. What Miami Valley health officials are doing to try and stop the spread. From WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 2 News Today. Good Monday morning to you. Thanks so much for waking up with us. The picture outside doesn't really match the mood in Dayton right. today. I'm Lauren Wood. I'm John. So I will get your popcorn ready. We're going to be talking about an Academy Awards party with a couple of Oscars coming home. Watch 2 News first at 4. We're working for you. Weekdays beginning at 4. Now at 6, a stay-at-home order issued in Ohio. What that means for you once it goes into effect tonight. And local law enforcement are ramping up efforts to keep people at home. How these new restrictions will be enforced. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News Today. And it's Monday, March 23rd. We recognize these certainly are different days, but we appreciate you joining us on this day. I'm John Seibel. And I'm Lauren Wood. All non-essential business and travel is now prohibited in Ohio. Helping his community two decades after his death. Uh, you can honor his memory today at Centerville. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News Today. Happy Friday to you. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Hopefully you liked yesterday's weather because today's going to be pretty similar. We'll have temperatures near 70, sunshine. I'm looking forward to it. I'm Lauren Wood. I'm John Seibel, too. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News at 5. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News at 6.
Now at six, dozens of dogs dumped across one of our local cities. How shelter officials are now working to find the person who abandoned the pups. Plus, the new information we're learning about a weekend shooting in Dayton that killed one and injured several others. And the request the city officials in Springfield are making of Kroger as that grocery store chain prepares to shut the doors at to one of its last remaining stores in that city. But first here at 6, dozens of puppies and dogs dumped this weekend all across Washington Township. They are now in the care of several agencies. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News at 11. Now at 11, fighting the opioid epidemic, the team charged with decreasing overdose deaths this year in Montgomery County. Plus, a bill named for a Huber Heights resident would help people with disabilities, what it would require in public buildings. But first at 11, Montgomery County officials are setting new goals for 2020 after the number of overdose deaths held steady in the year 2019. The Community Overdose Action Team is creating a new strategic plan to try to get those numbers to go down. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News at 10 on Dayton CW. It looks dry on Tuesday before more rain comes back in the Storm Team 2 forecast. And what is next for Dayton's fight in the opioid epidemic? New at 10, all health officials plan to lower overdose deaths even further this year. Also at 10, the attendance initiative at Dayton Public Schools is working. The next step to getting more students in the classroom. But first here tonight at 10, Montgomery County officials are setting new goals for 2020 after the number of overdose deaths held steady in 2019. The Community Overdose Action Team is creating a new strategic plan to try to get those numbers to go down. 2 News reporter Kristen Eskow spoke with members of the team about what's next in combating the opioid epidemic. Mark and Brooke, Montgomery County officials believe increased awareness about treatment and a reduced stigma surrounding addiction have helped prevent an increase in the number of accidental overdose deaths in 2019. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News at 11. And now at 11, a community reaching out to help a young boy in need of a life-saving surgery. A family in Dark County station that's working for you. This is 2 News Today. Now at 430, Centerville City Schools has changed its mask policy for students and staff. What parents can expect this year. And Greene County's Democratic headquarters in Xenia is vandalized again. A new video that shows the latest targeting. And good Tuesday morning. Thank you so much for starting it with us right here on 2 News Today, bright and early. I'm John Seibel. And I'm Lauren Woodboy. Yesterday was a great day to get outside, and today's going to be a little bit of a repeat. Now 6, a local nonprofit is working to expand housing options and bring a new grocery store to West Dayton. We are breaking down their plans and getting reaction from city officials. Plus, encouraging people to get vaccinated. Why health officials say getting the shot is vital and why they're concerned about case rates going back up. From WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 2 News Today. Good Friday morning to you. Thanks so much for waking up with us today. I'm Lauren Wood. I'm John Seibel. The previous couple of days were pretty swampy outside with all that humidity. Well, it's already... Quite soggy. Only held today for a food hall in the Wright Dunbar district. How it will help local restaurants while strengthening community bonds. And Kettering Health expanding Soin Medical Center's intensive care unit, the new features that will help them better serve our community. And following a series of recent large scale cyber attacks from foreign soil, House lawmakers hold two hearings today to determine how to push back against these attacks. From WDTN. The station that's working for you. This is 2 News First at 4. We welcome you back to 2 News First at 4. Checking weather to kick off this uh, second half hour. Brooke, we're in mid-July, right in the heart of summer. And we've got the weather to match. From WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 5 on 2. The new school year now less than a month away for districts across the Miami Valley and for many, 
The return of the classroom this fall will have a pre-pandemic feel, and that will include broken into online learning for many of our districts. Well, most schools here in the Miami Valley are returning to in-person full-time. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News at 6. And now at 6, to mask or not to mask, why many school districts are waiving mask requirements as we begin a new school year. From WDTN, the station that's working for you. This is 2 News at 10 on Dayton CW. And now at 10, Greene County's Democratic headquarters in Xenia vandalized yet again. The new video that clearly shows the latest attack. And Centerville City Schools has changed its mask policy for students and staff. What parents can expect this school year. But first here tonight at 10, police are tonight searching for the person who vandalized the Greene County Democratic headquarters in downtown Xenia. From WDTN, the station that's working for you, this is 2 News at 11. And now at 11, a local nonprofit is working to expand housing options and bring a new grocery store to West State. And we're breaking down their plans and getting reaction from city officials. And Ohio Task Force One returned home this afternoon. How the governor is honoring the team's work in Surfside. But first here tonight at 11, a local nonprofit hoping to bring a new grocery store and housing both to West Dayton. Initial plans for the property were approved by the City Planning Commission earlier this week. Two News reporter Allison Gens is live in the newsroom with the plans and reaction from city officials. Mark Brook Homeful is proposing a grocery and housing project on 16 acres of property that they own in West Dayton. There's a feeling in the air that you can't get I take the sounds of yesterday's and I love the magic ways of Dayton. All across the countryside, we share the growing light as you touch the sky. Touch the sky. From where the rivers flow to where the sunsets go, where all good neighbors passing by. 